you doing? It's good to see you today. I'm so very happy that you could join me for this video because we are going to be talking about Alani and the different activities that they have to offer and what my advice on your first day when you first arrive, okay? Because it can be overwhelming when you first arrive at Alani just because it's so large and massive. There's so many fun, wonderful activities going on and you're just overloaded with what do I wanna do first, okay? So I'm gonna help curb that anxiety and kind of give you a good game plan if you are planning your Alani adventure and you're you're going to be going soon maybe in the next couple of weeks or maybe in the next couple of days or in the next couple of months or maybe you still have that year where you're trying to um you know wait out until your adventure becomes begins i want to help you with your first day on what you should do when you first arrive and do you notice anything hmm? you notice anything different about me yes you guessed it i am wearing some exclusive limited edition mini ears that i created moi myself while i was at alani okay and we will get into that too so i'm so excited for you to be here we're gonna have lots of fun on this video and i know that it's gonna be very informative it's some tips and that i wish that i would have known before i got there um that will help okay so let's get started When you first arrive at Alani, like I said earlier, it can be so overwhelming. It's so gorgeous, it's so beautiful. Maybe you have five days to enjoy there and you just do not want to miss a moment of excitement or anything that they have to offer. So, let me start by saying first, <laughs> first, do not arrive too early. To Alani don't arrive too early because your room will not be ready and it is kind of like I had this grand plan that I had an extra bag so that we can partake in the pool activities but the thing about that is unless you have you, you you're not ready to just sit your stuff out and just leave bags around and guest services is really great they will hold whatever you need but it was just a lot with me having my luggage and i checked that in then i had a carry-on bag and it had all of my swim stuff in there but it wasn't small enough <laughs> for me just to lie around I, because I was overwhelmed, they don't have lockers. It was just a whole ordeal. So while we're talking about luggage, I want to put a pin here. I highly recommend that you do not overpack for Alani. Keep in mind, you will be doing a lot of swimming and lounging. You will not need a lot of clothing. Um, and if you're DVC, you can wash your clothes anyway. I know I will be doing another video showing what my luggage should have looked like when we went to Alani. When I thought in my mind, no big deal, I could wait around by the pool and I can go swimming. But then there is still this factor of where am I going to place my bag? Now, my mom was there and she offered to sit, you know, in the seats and kind of lounge around while we go swimming. The problem was that was at first when we arrived, there was literally no seats available. It wasn't always the case, but just that first day we arrived, there was no lounge chairs at all. So she didn't even really have any place to sit. So, and again, it wasn't like that every day, 
there was plenty of days where we were able to get up early and find seats and get situated for the pool but just when you make it <laughs> past a certain point on particular days it's very crowded at the pools so check-in for us DVC members was about I think it was three or four just get in there around that time if it's four don't arrive till about no no earlier than 2 30 I would say that because it can be a lot to just sit around they do have things you can do but you're still learning the resort you don't know the resort yet you don't know what they offer you don't know anything so just don't arrive too early the next thing I recommend is when you first get there make sure they're gonna give you one of these which is very helpful this is like just saying welcome to Alani and it has different times and activities go ahead go to Ulu's cafe which is a quick service restaurant if you don't have reservations go to the quick service restaurant sit down or do you something to eat just so you can come down from the high of finally being there and eat some food and browse over this because this is going to tell you everything that they have to offer the different activities and what they have in store it's very important that you know um they give you a map there's a map in there they also um anything super duper important is on the front uh, like they talked about the luau because that's a big hot you know uh, i uh experience that books pretty quickly they tell you about photo pass early so if you want the photo pass opportunity where they take pictures everything stored on your photo pass card you will have that already set up so you won't miss any moments if you need that they talk about the shuttle and the car runner place and then um they talk about uh wristbands for dvc members okay so we had special wristbands for when we're swimming that said member and you know they recognize the wristband member wristband so every day you want to get your dvc member wristbands because there's different little things like you'll get your towels what else did you get they just recognize you for different little things okay when you have your wristband but it's mostly for the pool if it was for anything else i don't know what it was for okay um but we did make sure we got our member wristbands it was important okay then they tell you about the restaurants that they have to offer they also talk to you about the refillable mugs which are so important um the refillable mugs you want to get that the first day so that you get there um because it's $19.99 and you get this mug I'm gonna go get mine you get the mug and the whole time when you're in a resort you get to refill it unlimitedly and then they also have a popcorn bucket the popcorn bucket if you're not a DVC member there's a small fee to refill it if you are a DVC member and you show them your car you can refill your popcorn bucket as much as you want unlimitedly for the cups you don't need a card it's for everybody free refills for the soda machine but for the popcorn DVC members is free refills or just a small fee if you're non DVC so this is the popcorn bucket it's cute too. look at it. it has all of the characters on there and they're having fun in the lazy river and this is the mug and I recommend that you wait until you get your room to get this okay you want to get this on the first day but wait till you get your room because you just don't want to be walking around holding these mugs when we first got there I was so anxious and excited I didn't even have my room yet but we got them because we had ate our meal and then we were just walking around holding them um, all day until I went to the gift shop and I got a bag and I was like thank you because it's just a lot <laughs> it's a lot okay so I'm just telling you these tips because they will help you out a lot so then also you want to um, look at the schedule for the day and it will let you know 
what activities they are having for that particular day. Um, and that's what this is right here. So it tells you the time. This is for family activities in blue. Green is for children. Um, and it's very important. Very important. This just means some stuff for kids, some stuff for adults. It doesn't mean just family, but you know, like they have some activity just for kids. So like if I arrived, if, if I would have really knew to do this, when we got there it was about 12. So then I could be looking to see what kind of activities can we do at this time. So if it's, let me just say this. They have activities that are extra payment activities and they're very affordable those tend to sell up so one example of that was at 12 to 1 they had um t-shirt stamping in the pow hana room that was limited spacing so for that time slot that was already filled up unless you just um happen to get in a session where they're not completely filled chances are you're not going to be able to get into it on that particular day you have to like try to sign up for the next couple of days because activities since they are affordable they do fill up fairly fast okay so when i got there i was like oh we could do t-shirt stamping you wouldn't be able to do t-shirt stamping unless there was an extra seat available so you're looking for stuff that doesn't have an extra sign up so let me give an example so you had the Tyler's time splash and play that's something oh no that's that's limited space too sorry excuse me oh okay here goes a great example so from 2 to 2 30 they have a Lonnie dance party with disney friends um and that is open to anybody so that was something you could have we could have done um make your own mickey ears this is a paid extra so we had to schedule to do this a couple of days out okay um aloha fun with disney friends that is a free activity so you're just looking to see what activities on the first day you're not going to be able to get a lot of activities done just because you're trying to do preliminary things but there are some things that you can do familiar familiarize yourself with the grounds that's one thing we did we walked around just to kind of familiarize ourselves but i recommend you get the schedule okay so now we talked about don't get there too early eat chill look at your materials that they give you take a couple deep breaths you're you this is gonna sound funny because you're not there yet but when you get there you will understand you'll be like oh Brika told me to do these things take a deep breath you're gonna get everything in that you want to get in relax okay we talked about the refillable mugs what else as soon as you get your room don't try to be extra busy Go get a swimsuit on and get in the lazy river. The first day should just be relaxation. Just relax. You've eaten. Relax. Go get in the lazy river. Have fun. Float your cares and all your travel stresses away. Get cleaned up and then go to a nice dinner at one of the restaurants. Okay? Which, let me talk about the restaurants. So we already talked about Lulu's Cafe, which is quick service. And that's um, an all day grab and go. The hours for that is 6.30 a.m. to 11, uh, excuse me, 6.30 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. Okay, that's how long Gulu's Cafe is. Then they have the Makahiki uh, restaurant. Breakfast at 7 a.m. And this is normally character dining for that restaurant. Um, and then they have dinner until 9 p.m. I believe they have a character dining for dinner as well, but not every night. Like one night when we went on a date there, there was no character dining. So you just have to ask about that. Then they had Ama Ama Contemporary Island Cooking Restaurant. It is gorgeous. It's a must go. If you can, you know, get rid of your kids, <laughs> 
go and enjoy some me time or some couple time go to ama ama okay that's from 5 p.m to 9 p.m i missed a huge important step when you're waiting for your room get rid of your kids asap take them over to auntie's beach house okay the hours is 8 a.m to 9 p.m every day go get them set up if you can get them set up for the beach club online before you even get there which you can do i didn't do it it's not a long registration process but if you can do it if you have time go ahead and do it now get them set up let them go run frolic so you can take a breather okay from the traveling and yes get rid of them i did that my daughter played there for about an hour while we were waiting on the room. Then by the time the room got ready, she was able to come upstairs. It was sweet, okay? Auntie's beach House, they play games, they watch movies, they're dress up. They have a huge outdoor playground that was amazing. Um, for whatever reason, Elise didn't want to go back. She It wasn't because anything happened. She just doesn't like to leave me. So she only went the one day they give them these really nice wristbands um that you do have to pay twelve dollars for if you don't want to keep it at the end they will refund the wristband but the wristband is kind of like let me go get it I, might look this I don't know what my child did with her wristband i put it up in a good place but she moves stuff so anyway it's just kind of it's green it says auntie's beach house on there you don't have to keep it at the end if you do not want it. It is waterproof, so you don't have to worry about it getting messed up. They put a lock on there so that the children do not remove it, but you can return it at the end. I never do, just because it's like a little souvenir. They also give them to you on the Disney Cruise Line, so I was, I was familiar with the band before coming in. But the Beach House or Kids Club, is amazing your children are safe there i feel my child is safe there um and there's just a lot of activities i do pray that as we continue to travel and go on adventures with disney that my child will learn to love the kids club okay um she has some like horrible memories from the disney cruise line <laughs> because she made the choice to stay on the cruise ship while we went into Mexico. And she had a great time. She just got a little, she missed us. She really didn't miss us. It was because it was, we were on a Halloween cruise. The kids were all dressing up and getting ready for their little Halloween dance party. And she didn't have her costume on and she was feeling like she was missing out on some fun and she was tripping. Because, you know, they do like a little parade on the um, cruise ships. So, that was all that was about. But she was like, I was missing you. But we tried to get her to come with us to Mexico. And she refused because she said she had to go to Dr. McStuffin's training. And Spider-Man was giving out some superhero certificates. And she could not get off of the ship with us to go to Mexico. Even though we had paid for her ticket because she was going to miss out. So, I said, well, hey let Disney take care of her then me and my husband we went out on a nice romantic date into Ensenada and we had a ball and it was amazing don't threaten me with a good time okay that's what I gotta say don't threaten me with a good time all right so um moving along that's important just put them in there okay so we talked about the restaurants we talked about the reusable mugs I love the reusable mugs because you know, fountain drinks can add up. All we had to do was worry about our food. And most of the time we were cooking. So all we had to do was just go refill the the drinks. If we wanted a snack, we would refill the popcorn bucket. It was just nice. So let me just let you know a couple of things for Disney Vacation Club members. Um... They have a member celebration on Mondays at 8 a.m. So you want to RSVP for that. What else? They do tours for um, 
Disney Vacation Club members. There was a cute little photo booth where you could take photos and it said Disney Vacation Club if you're a member. They have different things. Um, and if you are not a member and you want to find out more information, they have preview centers inside where they show uh, guests who are not staying in the Disney Vacation Villas what they look like. You walk through, it's like a real room and then they have people to talk with you. It's very nice. So go check the preview center out if you're not a Disney Vacation Club member. Um, they call them open house tours. Um, okay. So some other things that they have is they have the spa, which you definitely want to book yourself for. The spa is amazing. It's very affordable in my opinion. I think it was about 160 and we got a full hour massage and then you can take advantage of the hydro garden. It's just a whole experience, okay? Do not go to Lani and do not book yourself a spa. You are doing an injustice to yourself. They have the kids spa. You know, they have different packages. So Elise, she already had a full head to toe Disney spa makeover, so we just scheduled her for a manicure and a pedicure, which she really enjoyed. She enjoyed her nail technician. They talked about so many wonderful things. She enjoyed herself. So there's a la carte services for your children, and um, they're very affordable if you do not want a full-fledged on 160 kids spa package for a makeover. You don't have to. They have manicure and pedicures, and it's amazing. Um... They have sunrise yoga, which I did partake one morning. That is an extra fee. It was $25, I believe, for the sunrise yoga. Totally worth it. It's amazing just to get up and breathe and stretch and watch the sun uh, rise. These beautiful ears, this activity was an activity. You do got to sign up for it. It was $25, and you get a discount for the ears if you're a Disney Vacation Club member. So it's a little bit less expensive expensive so they give you the headband with the ears then you get five flowers and you get some greenery and you get a hot glue gun and you sit down and it's just so much fun to just craft and be creative i really really love that they have so many crafts again they have the t-shirt stamping some other um they have a gym which is for the use of everyone who's staying there. They have um, different exercise classes. So let me just let you know what they are. Splash It Boot Camp, Shred Meal, Sand Agility Training, Total Body Circuit, Ocean Beach Body Boot Camp, TRX, um, which is some kind of workout, Ocean Yoga, balance board meditation yoga i guess that's where you are on a balance board in the ocean that wasn't for me okay um so that's the exercise i um, just want you to know what's out there they also have some excursions and tours where it looks like you're on a couple of hikes or a catamaran experience uh, I didn't do any of those, but we did have fun in the ocean. They have a, um, I think it's called Joe's Rentals. And you can rent surfboards and paddle boards, which we did rent a paddle board. And I will just say, it definitely was not my thing. I'm going to explain myself. Okay, my husband and I, we rented one board and we would, we were, this was our plan. We would take turns with the girl. The girl is like Moana. She, she, is, she has no fear of the ocean. She doesn't understand the severity of the ocean. So we get this board. So my husband takes her out first. He, so it's in the man-made reef part. So it is ocean, but then they have a barrier so you don't go too far out. And so he makes it to the buoys because they say don't go past the buoys and he comes back. She's like, mommy, daddy is, is afraid. He doesn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> so I say, okay, well, let me take you out. I'll take you out. So we get on there and let me just explain this. You're on a paddleboard. You got your small child. You have on a life jacket. 
first they already had messed up because they told me it was hammerhead sharks in the water. Some of the guests were like, we just saw some hammerhead sharks. That's that's not for me. I don't, that was too much information, one. Two, I saw a little fish in there. So I know, okay, so it's some, you know, some wild sea life in here. Because they don't keep the, the fish from coming in. They just don't want you to go too far out. So I get her on the paddle board. She wants to do more than she's able to do. She wants to paddle. This is a massive paddle, you know, like it's not the cartoons. The board is all big. You get out there. I got halfway out. Then I did get very fearful. <laughs> like, oh Lord, I'm out here in the middle of the ocean with my child. Thoughts just come into your mind. And the hard, the bad part was when I wanted to go back to shore, now I have to fight against the current. Do you understand? I gotta put some, no, it wasn't for me. I just wanted to be in the lazy river. I just, if I gotta work that hard to get back, it's not for me. Cause I literally had to put some elbow grease in there to get us safely. Cause once you fall off of that board, now you gotta use your muscle to get back on the board get your child back on the board you're in the middle of the ocean you can't touch the bottom that's not for me okay so it was very affordable if that's something you want to do i think it was like 45 dollars per hour we forfeited that 45 dollars and we did not look back okay so but they have stuff like that if that's what you want to do i believe you could do it at night time and it's really cool because the paddle boards lights up with all these cool colors um, but it just wasn't for me. Some other things that they have. They had different activities in Auntie's Beach Club that were extra money. But it was like maybe Moana was doing something with the kids. Um, where she might be teaching about her culture and doing different activities. That was extra fee. We never did any of those. Um, again, because at least didn't want to go back. But she did have the time of her life while she was there. So they have um, a canoeing experience. They have storytelling. Um, they have movie night. There was one night it was a movie night. It never came back. I missed it the first night. When they had the movie night, it was at the first day that we arrived, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. They had the movie night and they were showing Toy Story 4. The rest of the days they never did it. So I'm assuming they only do it on Mondays because that was a Monday. Um, yeah, the, the, the beach run was called Makiki Joe's. They have the Lazy River. The Lazy River is amazing. My heart is still at the Lazy River. We love to love, love the Lazy River. It's so much fun. They have the water slides. Um, the reef wasn't open where you swim with the fishes in the little, you know, reef that's on property, not in the beach. That was under renovation while we were there. So we didn't do that, but it was amazing. The lazy river going down the water slide was super fun. And just going round and round, you never get tired of the lazy river. I mean, just fun, fun, fun. Um, some things off shore, I mean off property that's close was um, they had Starbucks. That was fun. We walked to Starbucks every morning at 4 a.m. Me, my friend and my mom. They have souvenir shopping at the ABC Country Market. That was really fun to go to. Um, they had Monkey Pod, but we never made it there. Um, so I never got to even taste it. So when I go back the next time. But they have the Luau. We did go to the Luau. And we went to the one on property. It is kind of costly. Um, but it was nice. I'm glad that we did it on property. And I'm going to tell you why. One, because we had a small child and I knew she was going to fall asleep. And so I had a babysitter on standby that could have got her. The problem with that was we didn't rest. If you're going to go to a luau in the evening, take it very light that day and just rest. Don't do too much. Like take a nap because when you go to the luau and even though it's a lot of activities and it was fun because we got to make stuff before the luau began and then we ate and then we were enjoying the show but 
the problem was my daughter did fall asleep then my husband fell asleep and it made me sleepy so that's why we just left i highly recommend on the day of your luau lay around in your hotel room do absolutely nothing not even the lazy river just kind of rest and get very rested so you can be awake because when you spend that type of money and again we did the disney luau so it was a lot of money that we forfeited <laughs> we did eat though but it would have been nice to finish out the show but we were drained zonked tired because we didn't rest <laughs> I think I have pretty much covered everything that I could cover. Um, anything that is extra cost, book in advance. You know, you gotta schedule them. Um, every day, go down the front desk and get the e, e whatever it's called. Um, whatever this little, the, the daily Iwa, or however they pronounce it, get this every day because it will let you know for that day what I have going on okay every day is a must you won't know what's going on unless you grab this you can go this is the last thing I'm gonna say you can go off if you're the adventurous type and you just want to go off campus you know off the resort and do activities in Hawaii do you okay I am going to tell you that for me, I prefer to just stay at the resort. I am such a busy person in my everyday busy life that um, I just want to relax. When I know I need relaxation and I just need to take a load off and I just need to relax and lay in the lazy river, I'm going to Alani and, I, and I'm not going to sightsee. That's not, not I, it makes so much sense now why I felt led to purchase at Alani uh, because when I need to come home, that's when I need that that rest. Just rest, child. Just rest, okay? So, um, if I want to rip and run, I can go to Disney World or Disneyland. But when I need relaxation or when my family needs to take a load off and just relax, we will be going to Alani and it's not to do a whole bunch of sightseeing. Okay, because the one day that we did go off of property, when we went to the Dole Plantation, it just felt like work. It was very nice. It was nothing against the Dole Plantation, but it was a lot of work for my mind because I need to just be in Hawaii just to relax. But um, if I ever go to Hawaii and I don't need a lot of rest, yeah, I will go back to Dole. It was very beautiful, um, but yes, rest child okay so that is the video of today let me show you elise's ears again like i said we did these ears it was me elise and my church mom and we went down there we had a ball um here oh i missed something too let me just show this these are elise's ears i'm gonna wear i'm gonna put them on for a second <laughs> Elise was you you know you only get five flowers but she was using her little wits and charm to go back and get more flowers <laughs> she was basically stealing them and they thought she was so cute so they just let her these are her ears they are massive <laughs> they're cute though um and this fun thing about making the ears you can make them for your own personality and so this is how hers but after a while when she kept swiping flowers then they were like no sister you're gonna have to buy some more flowers so you can buy additional flowers for five dollars more again we didn't pay for a whole bunch of these flowers because they were just letting her take them off the table until they got tired of her doing that but the other thing i missed was they have pen trading i'm there's so many things like I won't be able to cover everything in here there's not even half of it that I even covered like so we made the ears pen trading they have people all around the resort who will pen trade with you and it's super fun I got a lot of great pens while I was at Alani um so let me show you I didn't really want to talk about this because I didn't really want to 
talk about my pins yet but this is the pin trading bags that elise and i took and i'm gonna do a different review on if i felt the pin bag was worth it okay um so inside i don't we only brought about like five pins and um we were able to, we bought a couple of pins but we traded a lot of pins okay we i think we only bought uh, three pins while we were there anywho so it's it's a lot i anyway i'm not gonna pull them all out because i'm gonna do a different video but we all of these pins came from milani every single one of them came from milani super cool um so i will do a separate video about that because i don't that's gonna take up time so just know that you can pin trade um they have shopping which is really fun you can shop at the different um they have two different shops there one is like on the fancier scale and one is more on like the fun disney scale they're both fun you know but you know one is for kids one's not but well, I shouldn't say that one is just fancier okay and one is just more family oriented that's what I'll say uh then they had Mickey snow cones oh my gosh they were so amazing they taste so good you can pick your flavors they had um oh dough whip how could you forget dough whip girl so delicious we ate dole whip one one day for breakfast okay because it was good um now that really does cover it all okay it was so fun i don't know what to say we cooked we enjoyed the villa there's really enough for you to do i basically made this video just to let you know if you are going to lani you do not have to overburden yourself with planning a lot of excursions outside of Alani because they really do have a lot of affordable things to do on campus and a lot of things that are included on campus at the resort on property um there is a lot of stuff to do you will never ever never ever 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 get bored um, that's how fun it is. Oh, and then they had, see, and I keep forgetting stuff. They had the Minoen, hey, <laughs> I'm gonna just say that's what you call it. Trail at nighttime, it glows and you have the iPads that you get and then you are trying to find all these different icons and it, it's so cool, like different things light up or begin to move on the property. Uh, they have movie rentals that you can go down in the, like, the uh, Pau, Pau Hana room um, and you can rent movies they had DVC exclusive character meet and greets there is so much to do you just will not run out of things trust me you won't you will not run out of things to do at Alani it is so breathtaking and so beautiful and then they had the different pools um, they had the Lazy River, then they had the Infinity Pool, there was another pool, uh, and a couple of hot tubs. It's just gorgeous. It's, it's an experience that you have to, you must, you owe it to yourself to do at least once. Okay, so that is all for today's video. Um, where did I do my ears? Oh, right here. And then we were able to pack these very gently. I'm going to tell you, I put some tissue paper around it. Like this. And then I put it in this bag and then I gently put it in the suitcase. Um, they give you beads when you come in. They just treat you like royalty. And then you can, don't forget to get your welcome to Alani pins that they give. This is stuff I'm still putting up, but... Um, I wanted to definitely include this in the video. So you can make these and pack them gently. Put tissue paper around them, put them in a bag, and then gently put them in the top of your suitcase and they will not be in. Okay? All right, well, this was so much fun. I do pray that the information that I gave you here today will be helpful in your planning for your adventure to Alani with either you or in a loved one or maybe your whole entire family um and let me know in the comments below if something is helping you 
out okay um I'm trying to think is there anything else the ABC market you will love it okay if you need to do a lot of souvenir shopping I did some at Alani and some at um, the ABC market if you needed anything that you might have forgot the ABC market is it does come into handy the ABC country market it comes in handy um, yeah so I do hope that this video helped you again I wish there was a video out like this that is said breathe eat review your materials take it easy the first day you will get everything done that you need to get done at Alani you will experience everything that you want to experience and if you don't get everything in on that visit you can always come back okay so thank you for taking the time to join me on this video remember the sweet life is the right life and we'll see you real soon bye bye aloha